We are coming down to the final few games of the elimination round and in your second game of your Wednesday doubleheader it is the top two teams slugging it out in the open conference. One is undefeated while the other is the defending champion coming to you live from the PCV Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. It is a splendid matchup we have for you today as we bring you the Creamline Cool Smashers, the defending champions at 6-1 in the standings, taking on the undefeated Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being with us. I'm Eric Tepan alongside Neil Flores. And this is the country's one and only professional league, the Premier Volleyball League, live on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Signal Play. It's been a long time coming, Eric, and two of our heavily favored teams the Choco Mucho Flying Titans and the Cream Line Cool Smashers finally go head to head to boost their standing in this competition. They may be sister club teams, but they also have their own version of sibling rivalry. So I won't be surprised if these two teams take us on a roller coaster ride. Right? So we better fasten our seatbelts. Uh, it's going to be a fun matchup, that's for sure. Take a look at where these two teams are in the standings as of today. Right now, Choco Mucho is still undefeated with a 6-0 record and Dreamline has one loss under their scorecard. But when you get to seven wins, it will definitely guarantee you a seat in the semis. But as it stands now, both teams have a good shot at making it to the next round with even just six wins. Now, a lot of, uh, a lot of the fans right now messaging us, getting in touch with us, trying to find out um, the format and how we will determine who will make it to the semifinals. So we put together... Um, this graphics to at least give the viewers an idea can you can you uh, go through it neil yes just in case we have a two-way tie it will be winner over the other meaning babalikan natin yung previous matchup nila dun sa elimination round and okay. whoever won that game will proceed as the higher team and in case of a triple tie the fivb quotient system will be implemented okay i know that's still not enough for some of the fans out there they want a more detailed uh, explanation, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. Right now, though, let's revisit the last game of the Creamline Cool Smashers, uh, and it was a thorough beating of the Signal HD Spikers. That's great. That was a straight set win for the Creamline Cool Smashers, facing a Signal team with nothing to lose. They still encountered a little bit of problems on their service reception, and my kita naman natin in that second set, the 27-25. Signal erased the four-point lead of Creamline, but then again, the veterans Michelle Gumabao and Pau Soriano came up big to secure that second set. And come the third set, it was all Creamline, utilizing their full arsenal to, to sweep that game against the HD Spikers. Three players from uh, Creamline scored uh, in double digits, Valdez, Gumabao, and uh, Galanza. You mentioned uh, Pau Soriano, five points, two blocks coming off the bench, but it's been Eliza Valdez who's been really putting in the numbers for Creamline, but we talked about this several times. She's always been the target of the opponent's service, especially in the past few games. Yes, that has become the trend over their past few games, and this allowed teams to slow her offense down. But even if you put a marker on Eliza Valdez, she will still find a way to punch in her numbers. You take a look at her stats, 14 points. But more than the scoring picture, look at the non-scoring skills. 10 receptions plus 7 digs pa for Eliza Valdez. So she's been doing it all for Creamline and that is why they are in the position they're in right now with 6 and 1 in the standings. Now one of the concerns for Creamline is how to match up and defend against the bigs of Choco Mucho and we spoke earlier to Eliza and she had this to say. Gia's game plan also siguro is to distribute the, well, the, the ball very well and siguro I'll, I'll also help not only on offense and also, but also on defense, floor defense and spe most especially lalo na sa service receive kasi alam naman natin in the past few games is isa rin sa mga tina-target and a strategy ng mga, ng mga kalaban namin is parang uh, to, to uh, uh, siguro target me on service receive. For us, Creamline naman, we really have to play our game. We really have to stick our to, to our strategy and listen, really listen to our coaches. Yun lang siguro yung iniisip namin. And definitely to give them a good fight today. 
Well, there wasn't much about the bigs there of uh, Choco Mucho, but we will see how they implement their system. She just talked about basically an overview of, we'll just follow what the coaches tell us, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, Choco Mucho undefeated. Uh, coming off their last game, it was a sweep against the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers. The Flying Tyrants also faced their own version of challenging stretches against the feisty Black Mamba Army. They cruised in that first set 25-19. Then they gave up a huge lead in the second set. But then again, they were just too much firepower on the end of the Flying Titans as they also ended that in three straight sets. Three players in double digits for uh, Choco Mucho, Tolentino, Madayag, and Gaston uh, also uh, Bea De Leon chipping in with eight points for the team. Let's take a look at the result of that three-set win against Army uh, just a couple of days ago. And Madi Madayag is uh, somebody who will we'll focus on today. She is one of the focal points of the offense. Of this team. Yeah, it took some time, but Choco Mucho Captain Madi Madayag finally scored in double digits for the very first time in this tournament, showing off her signature running attacks and a couple of times, uh, piling up huge amounts of blocks. She finished with 11 points, built on six attacks, four blocks, and one service ace. Take a look at the numbers of Madi Madayag. 11 points, and definitely somebody who the team will look up to coming into today's game against the uh, very solid cream line cool smashers in the meantime they want to stay undefeated obviously how do they do that we'll listen in to Madi Madayag actually we don't think na parang 6-0 kami sobrang lamang kami kasi yun nga um, bata pa yung team namin eh so what we're really looking into is playing more um, as a team cohesively, yun talaga yung focus namin na magawa namin ng maayos yung sistema ni Coach O. So, siguro bonus na lang yun, yung panalo namin. But then, yun nga, at least napapakita namin na gumagana rin yung sistema ni Coach O sa amin. Realistic goal namin was to enter the Final Four. So, napasok na namin yun. But then, ayun nga, of course, we all want to be champions naman. So, um... Coming into the semis, hopefully, mas mas showcase namin yung talent namin. Well, knowing Coach O, it's not really about staying undefeated, keeping your slate clean, but it's more about taking it one ga game at a time and executing as well as you can. Yeah, and in the 2019 Open Conference, nagharap na rin naman yung Cream Line and Choco Mucho. Cream Line actually swept both of their matches against Choco Mucho, so it's going to be interesting to see how the revamped Flying Titans will fare against the intact Cool Smashers. Well, one of uh, the young ladies who've been stepping up in the past few games, uh, Pongay Gaston, had the second most touches for the team offensively in their win versus uh, Army. Nine of 24 spikes with 10 points uh, to her name. Yeah, we know that Kat Tolentino will have that heavy load on her shoulders in the scoring department. But if Pongay Gaston can contribute more in this game, I'm sure we will be getting a good matchup. Lisa Sato, obviously another uh, one that we should watch out for if you're a big fan of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Seven points for Sato in uh, their three-set win against Signal. Yeah, we will be looking at the services of their middle blockers, talking about Risa Sato, Pau Soriano, and we might just see Panaga start out this game. And now let's meet our national referees for this match. First referee, Lumer Baharilio. Second referee is Mark Santos. Now let's meet the starter first for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. The starters from the Ateneo de Manila University. Center number three, Dina Wong. Middle baller number 17, Captain Manny Mandayag. Outside spider number nine, home guy Gaston. Opposite hitter number 10, Pat Tolentino. Middle baller number 14, Bea de Leon. Outside spider from Manayag Starters 
back here at the PCB Social Civic and Cultural Center in uh, Pacara, Ilocos Norte. The starting six is the same for Coach Oliver Almadro and the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. On the flip side, there is a change for interim head coach Sherwin Meneses as Jeanette Panaga, who did not play in their uh, win against Signal, is part of the starting lineup for the Cool Smashers. Back to the original lineup ng itong Cream Nine Cool Smasher. So we will get to see if 100% na ba ang kaya ibigay ni Panaga coming off that injury. On the other hand, for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, like what you said, Eric, no changes to their starting lineup since nung nagsimula tayo. Ito at ito yep. na rin yung ginagamit ni Coach Oliver. Oh, very exciting day for volleyball fans as they get the best of the best in the one and only professional league in the country, the Premier Volleyball League. The one, two teams in the standings go head to head right now. And just a reminder, we are down to the final three, four games for some of the eliminations. And next week, we're going to have our semifinals already. So these teams are in a must win situation. First attack is good for De Leon. You know, well, engaging the middle hitters early on in this first set. Eight points for De Leon in the last game of Choco Mucho. She is the seventh best blocker in the conference. And she's going to be a handful here today if uh, Dina Wong continues to go to her. Um, Madi Madayag at Cato Lentino uh, throughout the game. Wong sets it up. Solid block right there. Panaga making her presence felt. Great start for Panaga. Parang hindi siya na injure, getting her first block of this ball game. Michelle Gumabao serving. 11 points, 10 of 22 spikes. In their win versus Army. One handed save. Revilla gets it over. Nice tip by Panaga. Ball is still alive. But overset and overhit as well by Galanza. Wasted opportunity for the Cool Smashers. You know, I wasn't uh, able to talk to the head coaches because they're so busy. Nila, but I got a chance to chat with the assistant coaches of both of these teams for Choco Mucho. Sabi nga nila, on the technical side of things, they will be putting emphasis on strong serving and they will still target the wing hitters of the Cool Smashers to at least get them out of tempo. So that includes obviously Eliza Valdez and we were talking about that earlier as Panaga overhits the mark here, maybe a little too excited. I feel like there's, I, I know we're, we're in Mandaluyong and these, these girls are in Bacara, but I feel the energy, there's a certain kind of energy bursting at the seams right now between these two teams. And there's a block on Galanza. Good double block, courtesy of Wong and Madayag. And kung heavy serving naman ang gagawin ng Choco Mucho Flying Titans, ang Creamline Cool Smashers naman, they are acknowledging that they have to focus on serve-receive because this has been their weak spot yeah. in their previous games. 4-1 right now in favor of the Flying Titans. Off-speed attack right there from Galanza. Back row from Tolentino. There's a good receive from Valdez. It is, could be a net violation. Yeah, there's Galanza uh, touching the net. Early four-point lead for the Flying Titans. That was a good move from Dina Wong. She already saw that the set was too tight. Malamang ipapacheck out ni Gemma Galanza. And then suddenly, binaba ni Makamay niya. So Choco Mucho with the upper hand. Atienza with a poor receive right there. Going to be a free ball. Flying Titans on the attack. Madayag. There is a setting violation. Double contact on Dina Wong. Clear double contact violation called on Wong. Kitang-kita naman dito. Dun sa ikot pa lang nung bola. That it hit the hand simultaneously. So a break for a green line. They get a free point here, Neil. But they've got some climbing to do. Two serving five, set number one. And if you're a cream line, you don't want to be behind by a bunch of points. But knowing Choco Mucho, how good of a team this is in preserving their lead. 
Yeah, and maganda rin talaga yung sistema ng Choco Mucho. They've been together for quite some time already, so chemistry was never an issue for, uh, for this squad. That's Spike of the Set brought to you by Duncan. And remember, Choco Mucho has only lost two sets. This entire conference, just two sets. But in the 2019 Open Conference, sa tandaan din natin, hindi nakakuha ng panalo ang Choco Mucho oh. over the Creamline Cool Smashers. So we have yet to see kung sino ang lalamang. But so far, good defense being shown to us by the Flying Titans. But this tries again. This time connects Eliza Valdez. That will be uh, one of her go-to angles, that sharp cross-court attack. Not challenging Madi Madayag and Dina Wong. And that's uh, right on the money for Eliza Valdez. 39% spiker is Eliza Valdez. Aside from the team match, I personally believe that uh, you kung player to player lang bang basihan, even itong dalawang kupunan na to, not just dun sa setters, but also the hitters, and also the liberos, then then, then Lazaro Revilla playing really well against an excellent Kyla Atienza as well. Four serving six. And Panaga with a couple of errors early in set number one. Aside from having good service reception in today's game, kailangan din malinis ang laruin ng dalawang kupunan na to if they want to get that win. Morado. Nice delivery to Sato. And that was overhit by Gaston. That was an awkward hit. Uh, she saw Regina Arocha still down on the floor, so she couldn't get a good approach on that hit. So some errors in the game of Choco Mucho right now. Only 21 errors for Choco Mucho in their three-set win against Army. Joust won by Dina Wong against Sato. Here's Valdez. Block. Good coverage by Galanza. Valdez will try again. Oh, and miss hit. Drops into the net. And Choco Mucho takes us to our first technical timeout in set number one. Flying Titans up by three over the Cool Smashers. For Tots, Carlos, hindi raw siyang nahirapan mag-adjust sa Cool Smashers dahil hindi lang raw niya iniidolong kanyang mga ate kundi malaki ang tiwalang binigay sa kanya. Being friends with Gia Morado means that talaga nakapag-adjust siya agad sa role niya. And in preparing for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, inaral daw nila ang bawat tendency ng players sa kabila upang malaman nila ang galaw nila sa court. Let's expect more intense rallies to the Flying Titans and the Cool Smashers in this iconic matchup. For Tots, Carlos, six points. Uh, coming off the bench, all scored in the third set in that win over Signal HD. 8-5, Choco Mucho, set number one. Morado, Valdez. Great coverage by Galanza so far, and the rest of the six on the floor for Cream Line. Arocha with a tip. Atienza back to Valdez. That is outside. Still a good angle, choosing to go cross-court. But that would be too wide for Eliza Valdez. It's still a four-point lead for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Dina Wong, 16 excellent sets in their last game. So far, the third best setter in the conference. Gumabao, the tip. Caught up top by Bea De Leon, who's psyched with that move. And you have two tall blockers in BDL and Cap Tolentino. You can't just put it over ng Mahina. You need that power to punch it through the double block. And the Flying Titans rebuilding 
their lead once again against the Cool Smashers. That is just outside for Dina Wong. And these errors allowing Creamline to keep in step here in the first set. Creamline is also a good serving team. Now, Eliza Valdez uh, will serve on their behalf. Alam naman natin, yan yung serve na nagpahirap sa Bali Pure in That's that straight set victory. If they can melt that service, mas makakahabol sila. But just as I say that, they give one point to Choco Mucho. Coming into today's game, Valdez was the third best server in the conference. But I guess it's the nerves. I mean, it's a really high-level matchup. So both these teams are on the edge, obviously, because they know they're going up against the cream of the crop in the Premier Volleyball League. Morado sets it up. Back set, Lumabao. Off the tips of the fingers of the blockers. Saved by Arocha. Here comes Tolentino. Pushed by Morado. Valentino once again off the block this time as Choco Mucho doubles the output of Creamline in the first set. Lala na pag broken play, you can expect Catolentino to save you during those scenarios, targeting the right hand of Gemma Galanza. 18 points off 18 of 45 spikes for Tolentino in that last game. Sato, kept alive by Wong, set by Revilla, there's the attack by Gaston, Galanza, good exchange here, six point lead for Choco Mucho, both teams playing very good floor defense, Galanza, oh no coverage that time for Creamline as Choco Mucho scores again. Still utilizing the double block from De Leon and Tolentino, building a wall so far against the Cool Smashers. Middle blockers have been living up to their name as Tots Carlos checks in for the first time. Let's see if she can bring some much needed firepower to the Cool Smashers here in the first set. And they have that luxury of uh, substitution dahil sobrang talented din ang bench players ng Creamline Cool Smashers. Michelle Gumaba will get that point and Creamline needed that. I'm sure fans right now na nakahinga ng uh, isang mabigat na oh, isang <laughs> sigh, you know, because natatamba ka na yung kanilang team here in the first set. Valentino going up. That was a block. Valentino with a tip. Yes! Smart push from Cat Tolentino, recognizing that huge hole in that down the line as they double up against the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Such a smart player, Cat Tolentino. She will find ways to score against you. So you better be ready, whether it's the block at the net or people in the back row. Again, Choco Mucho with double the output of Cream Line here in the first set. Poor first ball. Gumabao. Yes. Michelle Gumabao, except for the pink jersey, you'd think she's still in the sal, you know what I mean? I mean, no, there's no decrease in power, in elevation, in, it, it actually feels like she got better. She's very comfortable with her angles in that opposite side of the court. She can go down the line, she can go cross court, but again, it's the unforced errors ang nakakatigil sa cream line na makahabol at yeah. this point. 25 errors in uh, the win versus Signal. If you're wondering, Creamline has lost seven sets in the conference so far. In total. Carlos, block. Oh, wait a minute. Is that four touches? I think it was four touches. So that ball did not cross the net. For Tots Carlos, 16-8 Choco Mucho over Green Line, set number one.
back here at the, B the BCB Civic and Cultural Center in Bacaray, Locos Norte. Said Domingo, a former starter now coming off the bench with Jeanette Panaga, 100%. But so far, she's had one block, a couple of errors in the game. And Choco Mucho right now, they, they, they're playing their game and Greenline is trying to figure out how to how to fix that. And I still think that it's a good move na gamitin mo na si Panaga early on in this tournament dahil papasok na tayo, tayo ng semifinals. Hindi pwedeng pagdating doon. <laughs> Tsaka mo pala siya gagamitin. And just as I say that, she comes up with a big point off that runner. Right on cue, Panaga makes her presence felt after the one block. She's been pretty quiet. Thoughts, Carlos? A huge bench scorer for Sherwin Meneses and Creamline. Bongay Gaston off the block. And she is also, also blossoming into a great offensive player, Bongay Gaston. She has turned out to be one of the more reliable attackers also for Choco Mucho. But more on that, Coach Oliver is looking for her contributions in the non-scoring skills. Middle push against three blockers. That's not going to go through for Eliza Valdez. And now, Chocomuto is just really relaxed. They're coming into this game with no pressure at all, just playing their usual game. And it's showing. A timeout here by the Cream Line. We'll try to listen in and figure out how they're going to solve the blocking and the defense of Chocomuto. in the huddle it was just more of trying to break the momentum of Choco Mucho which has been rolling for, for the last three or four points for, for sure they'll be banking on their good vibes and happy happy moto to get <laughs> to get them through this game Kyle Negrito watching on well uh, she might be tapped to come in in a few more plays if things don't progress with green line here good position by Rivilla to dig that Eliza attack. Morado, Panaga step too high. Wong, Madayag is blocked. Tolentino picks it up, Wong, one to play. Atienza was right there. Valdez, blocked again. Uh, that will be called a dead ball because of that um, power interruption. So we will replay that point. But so far, the blocking has been clicking for the Choco Mucho Flying Titan. So the attackers of Creamline has to find a way to penetrate those hands. Okay, the officials are conferring here. First referee is Lumer Pajarillo and Mark Santos is our second referee. And the thumbs up given by Santos. So replay the point. Choco Mucho playing so well here in the Open Conference, undefeated at 6-0. Morado sets it up, Valdez down the line, yes! Better hit for Eliza Valdez, targeting that zone one area. But they need more of that as they are still down by eight points. And they're going to have to solve that blocking of Choco Mucho that's really been frustrating the offense of Creamline. By the way, Rose Vargas is in the game for Cream Line. Madayag is blocked. Valdez through the block this time. Dina Wong sets it up. Madayag tips. Yes! All of the players of Choco Mucho just contributing yeah. to their cause. And they look like such a well-oiled machine right now. I mean, movements are so precise. So pinpoint, the passes are just excellent. And we credit that to the steady uh, digging of Denden Lazaro Revilla. Like this one, pass a little too strong for Morado. Sato this time, that's outside. 
Asking for a check ball, but it will not be given. Another timeout by Creamline here. The lead is 10 for Choco Mucho. Well, nothing much to be happy about if you're a fan of Creamline right now. The, this team's struggling in the first set against Choco Mucho, down by 10. There's Mandapat, former Lady Bulldog. Dina Wong has done an excellent job distributing the ball so far today. But like what you mentioned, part of that is obviously the great reception as Valdez punches through the block this time. Another substitution will be made. Gumaba will march back in the front line. And Ella de Jesus will come in as Libero, replacing Kyla Tienza. Yeah, in the past couple of games, they've been utilizing two Liberos, talking about cream line. Valentino, that's into the net. It's going to be four touches against Choco Mucho. So two straight points here for Creamline. Let's see if this is the start of a mini run that can give us a much closer first set. Choco Mucho has to be careful because in their past games, kahit malaki yung lamang nila, they allow their opponents to catch up. So they need an excellent pass to stop this momentum of Creamline. Arocha. Good save by Tots Carlos. Here comes Valdez. That's way too high. That set was way off. She tried to adjust, but just too much muscle for Eliza Valdez on that hit. So far, five excellent sets for Dina Wong. Solid serve for Wong. Nice delivery, though, by Morado to Sato. That was a quick. And that's a good sign for the Cream Line Pool Smashers as they try to focus on their medals. Again, in their past few games, hindi rin ganun ka-dominant yung performance ng medals according to their assistant coach, Carlos Santos. Kaya kailangan talaga nilang bumawi today. But that service error will add another point for Choco Mucho. Is this... Fatigue of some some sort, especially for Eliza Valdez, who's been really doing a lot of the heavy lifting, and not, not just offensively, but defensively for Creamline. That can be a factor, but when you're on that service line, you have to maximize the time that you have. Bago mo bitawan yung bola, but they will get that one back, courtesy of that service error of Regine Arocha. Always with a smile on her face. Lisa Sato serving 14-22. That's a floater. Wong Gaston is blocked by Gumabao. Revilla sends it over and outside. Yeah, she tried to put it over. Another floater of a serve from Lisa Sato. Tolentino. Tip there by Gumabao. Ball still alive. Tolentino with a push. Morado sets it up. Tots Carlos, solid block. Again, Bea de Leon and Kat Tolentino building that impenetrable wall for the Flying Titans. That's the thing, when you're out of system, Choco Mucho knows that you're going to go to your outside hitters and there will be a lot of time to establish the double block. Two points away from pocketing the first set. Choco Mucho, 23, serving 15. Morado to go back to Carlos. That's picked up by De Leon. Gumabao. Yes. As expected, Gio Morado will also utilize her reverse setting to keep the middles of Chocomucho on the move. 
Just like that, medyo na late si Madi Madayag. Such a lethal attacker from the opposite, Michelle Gumabao. But still a lot of work to do for Creamline. But they're getting it one point at a time. Panaga with a block at the net on Madayag, giving her a taste of her own medicine right there. Coach Albadro will want to talk things over. Much closer deficit to work with if you're cream line down by six here. They were down by as many as 10 points in the first set. But that's really not gonna help. I mean, these unforced errors, there have been some for Choco Mucho, but cream line has committed way more. Later we'll get to check the official tally of unforced errors given up by the cream line pool smashers. But right now, Choco Mucho is at set point. Carlos gets it through the double block. Carlos just putting in enough force to get that through the double block of Choco Mucho. Carlos always had that power, even when she was still a rookie in UP. But they're going to have to be perfect here. 18 serving 24. Gaston. Good defense by Panaga at the net. Morado. Valdez is blocked again. It's been the blocking of Choco Mucho Neal that has really hurt Creamline here in the first set. That has been the story so far in this first set. Again, the, the double block of Choco Mucho dictating the pace of the game so far. What a tremendous defensive presence uh, the blockers of Choco Mucho are. They win 25-18 against Streamline, set number one. Take a look at highlights of set number one. And it's been those moves, the, the defensive blocks, the kill blocks from Choco Mucho that has really helped them win the first set. All right, now they're just following their game plan. They're giving heavy serves against the wing hitters of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Just uh, as Coach Oliver said, they need to take them out of system para ma bawasan man lang yung tempo ng attackers ng line because we know that they are heavy offensively so if they get a couple of touches or even solid blocks malaki ang chance ng Choco Mucho to get ahead Panaga started in today's game and she had a few points to contribute but it's been De Leon, Madayag, Tolentino even some points from Pongay Gaston as well they were very good offensively but more importantly, very good defensively. Yes, that's how they actually closed 
the first set. And most of the attacks of the Creamline Cool Smashers currently are coming from Eliza Valdez. So the other others have to perform well. Nine attacks against the only six of Choco Mucho, but defensively they were indeed better. Six against one, and as we said, yung 13 error errors in a single set was just too much for the Creamline Cool Smashers. So they gave six more points uh, than Choco Mucho in the first set, which really hurt the Cool Smashers. And they never really found themselves in the game in the first set. They were down early. And they were down big from the middle of the set onwards. So set number two, adjustments have to be made. They talk obviously in between sets. What are the main things that Creamline has to do to get themselves, get their bearings here in the second set? You know, to start things off, they just really need a steady passing to give it to Gia Morado. She is the number one setter in the league for a reason. So if you can give her excellent passes, she can do a lot with the, of the offense of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Just like that, even though it was awkward na yung receive, she was still able to give that to Risa Sato. Here's another look. Morado had to chase for it, but Sato and that connection that's been there even though they did not play in the same college, in the same university. That's how good Gia Morado is. Morado is the second best server in the Open Conference. Oh, nice pass to Bea De Leon. Then good ball distribution from the side of Dina Wong, giving all her, most of her attackers a chance to chip in. Regine Arocha. Getting ready to serve. One all, set number two. Choco Mucho, one set to nothing against Streamline. Better passing. Sato once again, picked up by Gaston. That was over-received, but Streamline wasn't ready. Bonus point <laughs> for Choco Mucho. I don't think that was intentional, but they will still get that point. It's these breaks of the game, eh, as you can see. Choco Mucho is the more prepared team for plays like those. Creamline right now, they, they, they're tentative, which has really hurt them in many split-second decision-making in the game. Yeah, but Michelle Gumabao still continuing to find loopholes in the defense of Choco Mucho. And that spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan. They're, they're going to need more of that, a lot more of that, if they are to hurt the defense of Choco Mucho. De Leon hung in the air a little bit, but that was caught by the defense. Morado. Watch Carlos. Yes. That's what you like. You have to pin down the middle blocker of Choco Mucho to give allowance para mapalo ng mabilis ng outside hitter yung bola. That paid well for Tots Carlos. You can just hear it, that pure power. So Creamline with a one-point lead here, three serving two. Good serve by Eliza Valdez. Arocha unable to contain it. Don't look now, Creamline cool smashers with a two-point lead in the second set. Gaston, dug up by Valdez. Carlos with an off speed. Yes, Tots Carlos with some the tricks up her sleeve. She can go for power, but she can also play it smart and give cut shots or off speed shots. Look at that. There was no defender close to that ball. Now, if Tots Carlos has more in her arsenal, yeah, she's going to be hard to stop in today's game. Right now, pabigat na ng pabigat yung serve ni Eliza Valdez. And it has been effective preventing Choco Mucho to score. Good save. But right now, Creamline in disarray. 
Another great save, another free ball. Superb floor defense by Creamline, and it pays off as Michel Gumabao gets the point down the line. Now everybody involved in the scoring picture, and that has been the dominant angle for Michel Gumabao so far in this game. Down the line hit from the opposite side of the court. And Creamline right now, it's starting to show their desire to go after every ball, and it's paying off. That all that hard work, that tenacity, just keeping the ball alive, forcing Coach Oliver Almagro to call a timeout here, a very early timeout. But if you're Coach Oliver Almadre, if you're Choco Mucho, you know that Creamline was going to come out hitting hard, uh, moving more, being more aggressive here in the second set. Yeah, they have three players in the top 10 of our Spikers category. Number two, Aliza Valdez. Number three, Michelle Gumaba. Number eight, Gemma Galanza. And again, it's different when you're watching or scouting your opponent. Tapos iba na rin yan during the game itself. Kalaro mo na. And Eliza Valdez showing us why she's the third best server in the conference. Another service ace right there. My unofficial tally, that's going to be service ace number three for Creamline. They're targeting Regine Arocha. Great save again by De Jesus. And Michelle Gumaba with an awkward hit, but nevertheless effective. That's at least five straight points unanswered for Greenline as they take us to our first technical timeout, 8-2 against Chocomucho in the second set. Cool Smashers looking in control here. A far cry from how they performed Neil in set number one. Six attack points against the two. And right now, Eliza Valdez is exclusively targeting Regine Arocha. Both of these teams will have their respective targets. I'm not saying there is a weakest link. Yun nga lang, you will choose the lesser evil. Of course, you won't target then then Lazaro Revilla. So you will <laughs> target other players. But now, Kim Gekiliana will make her first appearance in this ball game. She used to be a libero for Ateneo, so she can probably do a much better job receiving this serve. And if I'm not mistaken, she's the only Lady Eagle with three championship rings on her hand. Revilla, an off-speed there from Catolentino as finally Choco Mucho snaps that run by Creamline. Yeah, it's good to vary your attack from time to time. Para lang maiba lang yung takbo ng depensa ng ka ka kabilang team. Choco Mucho only three points so far here in set number two. Over received and quickly punished by Madi Madayag. As we said in the pre-game, this game might just come down to service receive. Whoever um, serves better, mas madali silang makakaset up ng offense nila.
And again, we, you mentioned this earlier, Neil. Uh, reception is something that Greenlight needs to work on. They were fortunate there that their defense stepped up, but that re the reception has been shaky so far in this match. So far, Risa Sato has been very active, not just in attacking, but also in blocking. Tolentino, yes. And they know that Kat would be the leading scorer for Choco Mucho. That's the spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Morado, Tots Carlos, what a dig from Revilla. Pongay Gaston is blocked. And that is not coming back. Green line scores and makes it a six-point lead. That ball went crazy off that coverage. Green line still maintaining that six-point lead against the Flying Titans. Michelle Gumabao taking her time at the service area. Joust won by Carlos and the point for Creamline as they put up their biggest lead right now at seven points. Again, it has been the services of the Team Line Cool Smashers that has allowed yung mga overballs na yan na mabibigyan ng regalo yung Cream Line. That point awarded to Jeanette Panaga. As Nicole Ebuen is in the game for the first time for Choco Mucho. Coach Oliver Almadro looking for fresh legs and fresh arms, but Gumabao drills that serve in. Another service ace for the Cold Smashers. Ebuen still cold off the bench. And that sir looked like it was going outside already, but she still got that. Michelle Gumabao, seven points, built off six attacks and one service A so far. Ebuen gets a touch. That is outside. Now the lead is starting to balloon for the Cream Line Pool Smashers. An emergency timeout will be called by the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Right now, the biggest lead of Green Line at nine points. 14-5, and Coach Almadro right now nitpicking every tiny detail as he should because his team clearly not at par with how they played in the first set. Yeah, this is a totally different Choco Mucho squad we're seeing right now. Coach Oliver is looking for the maturity in his players as they're having a hard time setting up their offense. Kadamihan, puro free ball na kukuha ng Green Line Cool Smashers. Ebuen into the net. Ebuen, a former Arellano University player, who says that if she wasn't a volleyball player, she'd be a teacher. Short exposure on the floor for Ebuen as Bongay Gaston is back. Gaston has also struggled here in set number two. It's also going to be a chess match between the coaches. Kung paano nila babalasain yung mga players nila. Tolentino, back row. Gumaba was right there. Morado sets it up to the middle. Panaga and Creamline continues to score. This is their biggest lead of the game. 10 points. Make that 11 points. 16-5. Creamline over Choco Mucho, set number two.
Back here at the PCB Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacaray, Locos Norte. This is the bubble of the PVL. Top two teams going at it. So Comucho dominated in the first set, but it's a totally different story here in the second set, Neil. When you have a high confidence level, talagang you will find ways to score. Kanina established yung double block ng Choco Mucho, but the cool smashers are finding loopholes in their defense. That's why they are very dominant in this set with a 12-point lead. It's the biggest lead for any team in this match. Oh, single lady block, Jeanette Panaga denying the offense. Doesn't look like she came from an injury. <laughs> Not giving up on that play. Panaga scoring for the cream line to Masters. Obviously, fans of Joko Mucho stunned right now after such great volleyball in the first set. They're nowhere near close to that performance here in the second. Great effort defensively by Creamline and every little thing they do converts it to a point right now in set number two. Yeah, Choco Mucho looks tentative in setting up their back row defense. That uh, wasn't the strongest of hits, but again, no one was ready for that. It's like the tables have completely turned, <laughs> turned 180. What Choco Mucho was doing is now what Creamline is doing. Got Tolentino. Finally, that long run of Creamline broken, but this is as close to impossible as it can get in this level of volleyball play. You're down, what is it, 19 to 5. And Greenline only needs so six points to close out set number two. Yeah, even though they're both in good position to make it to the semifinals, they're still battling it out for seeding. Of course. Panaga with a dump, yes. Three straight points for Panaga. 14-point lead for Creamline right now, and they are coasting in set number two. Now Gemma Galanza, after a short breather, will come back in. She struggled in the first set. Galanza. Here's a free point for Choco Mucho. They need every point they can get. Look at Panaga. As a starter, nine points of four attacks, four blocks, and one ace. Good numbers. And we're, good. we're still in the second set. Madayag serving. Thoughts Carlos. Trails one. <laughs> Cool Smashers can do no wrong right now. Just attacking from all angles. And almost all of the wing spikers of Creamline can attack from the back row. That's another option for Gia Morada to maximize. And finally, a good play for Choco Mucho. That's been far and few between here in set number two. Kahit na malayo yung kalamangan ng Creamline Pool Smashers, Choco Mucho would want to come up with their own wave of momentum coming into that third set. Kasi mas magiging crucial yon. Latina Wong with a service error. Choco Mucho right now seems like just going through the motions, hoping second set would end. They can start anew, start fresh. 
with a clean slate. But Dreamline right now relishing these moments. They're punishing Choco Mucho. Probably the cleanest set so far yeah. for the Creamline Pool Smashers in recent games. Gumabao, yes! Cool Smashers cannot be denied here in set number two. G Gia Morado just maximizing that reverse set para mapagalaw yung blockers ng Choco Mucho. When you confuse the defense of Choco Mucho, you'll have a bigger percentage chance of, of getting more points off the offense. Did you expect, Neil, with how Choco Mucho dominated in the first set, did you even think that there was a possibility that Cream Line could limit Choco Mucho to nine, maybe 10 points here in the second set? Well, I just knew that Cream Line would definitely bounce back as the defending champions. Hindi rin naman yan papayag na after that first set loss, ibibigay lang nila yung second set. And this is the fighting form that we've been looking for dito sa Cream Line. But are you surprised at how Choco Mucho, how they've been limited here in set number two? Definitely. I, it wasn't expected na right now. They're just at nine points. Valentino. Here's a set. Eliza Valdez. Yes. Everything Dreamline throws across the net translates to points. Choco Mucho still at the single digit mark. At this point, it has been cream line all throughout. And look who's back at the service area. Eliza Valdez, who's really hurt Choco Mucho here in set number two with her serving. A combination play there. What a save by Dina Wong. Back row attack. Middle, Sato. And cream line limits Choco Mucho to single digits. What a turnaround here in set number two as the Cool Smashers come alive and dominate Choco Mucho 25 to 9. Take a look at highlights of set number two in that uh, very dominant win by Cream Line over Choco Mucho to tie the match at one set all. And it all started when Eliza Valdez punished the service reception of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They had a target lock on the wing hitters of Choco Mucho, and this gave them a lot of difficulty setting up their transition plays and counter attack. And again, we were surprised by the 180 turn. Dahil single digit lang inabot ng Choco Mucho at 9 points. Liza Valdez, her serving was phenomenal in set number 2. There were a few points, a few highlights for Choco Mucho, but other than that, it's been all cream line in the second set. Uh, one of the keys to their a you know, huge domination was the performance of Jeanette Panaga and Michelle Gumabo. That's correct. Panaga having four blocks unofficially. And Michelle Gumabo also getting her touches. Look at that. 14 as they doubled up on the attack points against Choco Mucho. And the blocking and the service aces. Four against none. Pareho naman, konti lang yung errors. It's just that 
Dreamline really played better in that second set. Between the blocks and service aces alone, that's four, make that eight points for Creamline and nil for Choco Mucho. Now, what do you expect Coach Oliver Almadro to do, to say uh, to the Flying Titans coming into set number three? For sure, buburahin nila yung set na yon. It's already done. Wala ka na magagawa. So you go back to basics. Knowing Coach Oliver, service reception, napakalaking bagay niyan sa kanya because that will always um, start out the play. And offense will just eventually follow if you have a good pass. Well, that will be tested right away. Gia Murado, one of the best servers in the conference. Better passing. A good defense at the net by Creamline. Gaston punches through the double block. Eliza Valdez. That's outside. But there was a check ball according to Lumer Pajarillo, our first referee. He's clearly happy about that one. I didn't quite see kung kanino tumama yung bola. But again, there was a check ball. Right now, the leading scorer for the Cool Smashers is Panaga with nine points, followed by Gumaba with eight. Then for the cream, uh, for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, rather, we have Tolentino with seven and Madayag with five. Revilla gets it across. Sato, yes. Yeah. Talagang nagiging deadly yung offense ng cream line if they have their middle as a threat. Gia Morado looking at the blockers first and suddenly giving it to Risa Sato. 2-0. What a start for Creamline after a huge win in the second set. Service error will give Choco Mucho their first point of the set. Mabao. Wong sets it up for Gaston, who's been struggling today, but she finds the mark right there. Right on the line. Bongay Gaston hitting it over the hands of the defenders of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. You take a look at that. Eliza Valdez was occupying the opposite position, and Michelle Gumabao was in the open. Valdez, blocked, Gumabao, yes. Quite an uncharacteristic deal for Choco Mucho, so many reception errors. Uh, starting in set number two, and it, they seem to not have found a solution to that problem yet. And aside from that, there are instances na bumibitaw din yung blocker, so it's hard for the defenders to actually read the offense of stream line. But they uh, get a point off the block. Got Tolentino, take a look. Off the arm of Sato. Three all, set number three. Sato once again, Valentino was right there. Sato with the block. Here's a push by Gaston, picked up by Morado. Underhand set by Atienza. Gumabao is blocked. And finally, we once again see the teeth of the defense of Choco Mucho, which was totally absent in the second set. Better positioning from Pongay Gaston and Madi Madayag. Alam nila na hindi dinudulo yung set as instructed by Coach Oliver a while ago. And when you have good blocking on the side of Choco Mucho, it always gives the defenders in the back row an easier time to pick up those hard hits from the cool smashers. Speaking of hard hits, Tots Carlos gets one through. This will be an all-important set for both of these teams. 
to get that much needed advantage. Gaston. Yes, Bongai Gaston gets one in. Uh, she needs that more than the team needs it because uh, her confidence has been obviously shaken by her set two performance. That's correct. She was off in that second set, but once she gets hot, yeah. tuli for Pongay Gaston. That's true. That's why she's one of the starters of the Flying Titans. Five serving four. Good receive right there from Tos Carlos. And they're rewarded with a point. Michelle Gumabao down the line. Another reverse set from Gia Morado as Maggie Madea tried to close out that block. But Michelle Gumabao decided to take it off the hands of Arocha. Both teams receiving well, but great coverage right there by Gumabao. Tots Carlos, cut shot, picked up by Arocha. The back set, Capitolentino, back row, attack. Morado to Panaga, ball still alive. There's Arocha. Panaga keeping it alive. Morado as well. Free ball for Choco Mucho. Dina Wong goes back to Arocha. Yes! Regina Arocha getting her first point. What an exchange right there. That's as action-packed as you can get. Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. A combination of attacks, combination of defense. I mean, it's a volleyball fan's dream to see a sequence like that. And, ex and our fans are expecting an all-out game between yeah. these two teams. And it's a showcase, not just of offense, but defense as well. Great playmaking. I mean, it has everything, all the elements of a great volleyball game. Tolentino. What a save, almost, but not quite. But you have to applaud the effort. Two of your biggest stars, Eliza Valdez, Gio Morado, sacrificing their bodies, going down to the ground, trying to keep the ball alive. It just shows that every point is important for the Creamline Cool Smashers, not giving up. Yeah. Output so far of Madayag, five points. Seven, serving five, set number three. Thoughts, Carlos. Yes. Thoughts, Carlos saw the gap. Sagitnani Arocha and De Leon, and she maximized that. And Tots Carlos, I mean, that arm. She probably has one of the most powerful, you know, attacks in the, uh, in the PVL. Regardless of how many minutes you give her in terms of playing time, she will find ways to chalk up a decent number of yep. points for the Clean Line Pool Smashers, but she throws that service away as we enter our technical timeout. Two-point lead for Choco Mucho, 8-6 in the third set. Eliza Valdez on the attack. Valdez with the first touch. Atienza, back row from Tots Carlos. That's picked up by Wong. Underhand set for Arocha, who goes cross-court. Valdez attacks, blocked, but goes out of bounds. So Greenline makes it a one-point game. That's what you love about Eliza Valdez. She's not intimidated with the blockers in front of her. 
Look at that, targeting the hands of Bea de Leon. Tried to go for that sharp cross-court hit, but still went out of bounds. Seven serving eight, Panaga. That's Tolentino. I mean, very active hands for Creamline, keeping every ball alive here. That's over set. Revilla with the up. Tolentino gets it through. They were a bit flustered as then then Lazaro Revilla was supposed to set that ball for her teammate, but Pedelion got in the way. Still, they managed to get that point. Both teams playing much better level of volleyball and they're on more of equal footing. Right now, tight game, just a two-point lead for Arocha and the Flying Titans. Both of these teams are finally settled in, yep. so we're seeing a more competitive set. Sato connecting. That zero tempo hit from Risa Sato, a very important point of attack for Creamline. Take a look at the digs, 43 to 41. Yeah, we have two of the best diggers. You have Den Den Lazaro Revilla, number two in digging, and we also have Kyla Tienza, number nine in that aspect. Valdez ties the game at nine all. That is the spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Looking for the lead here. Green line serving. That bounces off the tape of the net from uh, Ponga y Gaston. Valdez with the push. Revilla with the up. Here comes Tolentino. Great anticipation by Tots Carlos. Gumabao outside. We saw a lot of defensive touches for, from both of these teams. But at the end of it all, it's about the team who can convert. Chocomucho back up by one. Galanza has not seen action since mid or late uh, part of set number two. She was a starter, but she has struggled so far in this game. And Tots Carlos has been performing yeah. really well for Creamline. But for sure, baka mamaya gagamitin pa din yan ng kanilang coaching staff. Valdez. Always loves that cross court. I mean, there's a high percentage she's going to go cross and down the line if uh, you're defending Eliza Valdez. So you have to be able to read her attacks well. Sometimes blockers intentionally leave out a certain angle. And then meron na nakabantay na defender in the back row. Another good serve from Valdez. Valentino picked up by Morado. De Jesus will set it up. Revilla will set this time for Choco Mucho, pushed by Tolentino. Both teams, a broken place here, and Michelle Gumabao with a hit down the line. Madi Madayag apologizes for that one. It was practically an opportunity for <laughs> Choco Mucho. There's a down the line attack. Gumabao gives Screamline the lead 11 10 here in the third set. And that's the most. Uh, Comfortable hit for Michelle Gumabao, that angle in the down the line area. Two players colliding that time results in a free ball for Cream Line. Morado back to Gumabao. Gonna be an easy over for Gaston. One handed set, but Madayag was there to reject Riso Sato. This, is, this has been the closest set we've had so far. Tied at 11 all. Upon looking at the replay, the ball may not have actually even touched Madayag that time. So a miss hit from Sato, 11 all. Arocha with the second ball. Gaston picked up by Valdez. Here comes Carlos. Revilla was right there. Gaston again, cross court, yes! Could it have that point to that excellent dig from Denden Lazaro Revilla? 
And that set from Dina Wong, fooling the middle blocker of Cream Line. Suddenly giving it to Fongai Gaston as she scores. Valentina with 10 for Choco Mucho. The lead is 1 for the Flying Titans. Gumabao. Yes! She knows that from time to time, Babantayin yung down the line niya. And last minute, she suddenly goes to a score. And the efficiency she has developed over time, lalo na yeah. open conference, sobrang taas. 38.31% spiker, making her third best in the conference. Madayag clips the back row. They need more of that signature running hit from Madi Madayag. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of those. And you're right, Dio. We should give her more touches. One point lead for the Flying Titans and a service ace by Pongai Gaston. Still continuing to target the wing spikers of Cream Line. So, the way I see it, they have the same game plan. Target the wing hitters, yep. Pati Bayan ng receive. Back to back service aces for Hongai Gaston and Choco Mucho with a three point lead here in the third set. Hongai Gaston is nearing, nearing that double digit mark. Currently at nine points with two service aces. Better reception for Creamline. Gumabao, cross court, yes. And Creamline needed that. They were on the verge of another meltdown. So take a look at this replay. Na maximize ni Michelle Gumabao. <laughs> Yung fade away nung block ng Choco Mucho. Good serve. Arocha. And Arocha will score and take us to our second technical timeout. Three point lead for the Flying Titans versus the Cool Smashers. Substitution for three one, number seven, Choco Mucho. 16 13. Chocomucho. Both teams are one set or have one set apiece. Still, Cream Line has the edge on the attack points 13 to 9 against the Flying Titans, but Chocomucho still has a two point lead after that service error of Madayag. Good evening to all the volleyball, volleyball fans around the Philippines. Uh, people from Zaragoza, Nueva Ecija are tuned in. And they're enjoying the high quality of volleyball action they're seeing right now. But as we say that, back-to-back -back service errors for both teams it's important to note now we are at the tail end of this crucial third set. So you have to try your best to avoid those unforced errors. Better received by Atienza. Espanaga punishing the defense. 
with a running attack. Now she reaches that double digit mark, courtesy of that runner. And we'd also like to say what's up to our, all our viewers online as well. We appreciate you being here and supporting the country's first and only professional volleyball league. 100,000 viewers. Valdez makes it a one-point game. So regardless of whatever platform or medium you're using, you can always catch the games as they happen in real time. One Sports, One Sports Plus and Signal Play. Panaga serving as Screamline looks to tie set number three. Oh! Again, another service error for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Two-point game here, 18-16, set number three. And look at the chatter, that communication, the players. You think there are fans in the stands because of how <laughs> you know, so many voices, so, so much chatter and talk. Attack error from Todd Carlos. Lead us back to three for Choco Mucho. They have been dominating the attack department, but there are instances that they give out two or three consecutive unforced errors on the side of Choco Mucho. Yeah, that started off with a service error and then an attack error. But Choco Mucho is not out of the woods yet. Not a safe lead by any measure. Eliza Valdez, yes! That may have started out in favor of Choco Mucho with that bounce off the tape of the net, but it worked out just right for the Cool Smashers. And take a look at this replay. Uh, Tolentino gave up that point as she allowed Eliza Valdez to have a clear view in the zone one area. So two-point game here. Service will be crucial for Green Line. Pongay Gaston is blocked, but coverage right there by Revilla. Back row attack, Arocha. Morado chooses Valdez. Yes! One-point game. Suspect they'll be leaning on Eliza Valdez to take charge as they try to take the lead against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. But before that, there will be a timeout called. Take a look at the remaining games of Cool Smashers. That's their last assignment against the Perla Spikers. Again, if you get to seven wins, that's a definite guarantee na mayroon ka ng seat for the semis. Tense moments for volleyball fans all around the country as these top two teams slug it out, tied one set all, and just a point separating them in the third set. Good receive there. Two players bump each other from cream line. Morado, Sato collide, resulting in an error, two-point lead for the Flying Titans. And it has been uh, these unforced errors for cream line. Talagang nagbigay ng kalamangan sa Choco Mucho. But defensively, I would say this is a better blocking uh, formation right now for Choco Mucho Choco compared Mucho. to that previous one. There's Galanza. We see her back and she continues to miss hit and struggle. That's obviously a heartbreaker for Galanza fans, especially she just she's coming off a 10-point performance in the win versus Signal. But she really hasn't gotten herself going in this game. Good thing they have Tots Carlos to back her up. 
21 serving 18. Back to a three point lead for Choco Mucho. One handed set. Sato. Pongay Gaston. That's picked up by Morado. Valdez readjusts. Cross court picked up by Gaston. Catolentino, single defender. Quick refl reflexes by Creamline, but not quick enough as Tolentino will score. Good defense on the side of Atienza, but nobody put that over. And a timeout here. Creamline will talk it over as Choco Mucho starting to pull away. Chocomucho, their remaining games. Yeah, they still have two games after this matchup against Petrogas and against Cherry Tigo. That's why hindi pa natin masabi kung sino yung tunay na final four na papasok in the next round. But based on the team standings, the most crucial game will be yung Santa Lucia against um, Petrogas. So we have to watch out for that one. But if you're a Chocomucho fan, they're, they're, it's get, it gets hard yes. for them <laughs> after this. And you'd think you know, they were already coming down from a hard climb, but it gets tougher as their last assignment is going to be Cherry Tigo. Uh, in the meantime, right now, they're resting on a four-point lead, only three points away from securing the third set. Valdez, yes! Clean cross-court hit from Eliza Valdez when the going gets tough. Yeah. You go to your biggest gun of all, and it doesn't get any bigger than Valdez. Great angle. And Creamline needed that. 18 attack points. It says so much about their arsenal. Catolentino sends it over. Morado chases after it. Risa Sato is blocked at the net. Maddie Madaya, great timing again. What a timely block for Madayag as they reach for that 25th point. Right now, they're at 23, two points away from getting a two set to one advantage over the defending champions. This is going to be the crucial stretch, Neil. They're down by four. Chocomucho, just two points away. What are the top things, top two things that Creamline need to do now to stop uh, Chocomucho from scoring? Well, first of all, they have to clean their gameplay. Nakita naman natin. It started with one service error, tapos sinundan ng kakampe, then an attack error. And if we take that out of the picture, they clearly have that advantage offensively against Chocomucho. Block points in favor of Choco Mucho here in set number three. They again turn it around. But Carlos fires one in. The tempo. Faster set coming from Gia Morado. What's receiving? Then sa kanya din binigay. <laughs> and just when you thought that the defense at the net of Choco Mucho was solid here in set number three, there goes Tots Carlos and breaks that. Running attack from Madayag. Valdez will set it to Gumabao. Gumabao is rejected. It's Choco Mucho once again. Moving very well at the net. Take a look at Madayag and how he just shuts, shuts down <laughs> that window for Gumabao. <laughs> and they knew it. It was indeed their point. Four set points for the Flying Titans. 24 serving 20. Gumabo in the middle. Yes. And I believe there's a net touch called against Chocomucho. That eagerness to block, obviously, backfiring. Then then Lazaro Redile asking for one good stop. They just need one good execution to close this one out. Wong to Arocha. 
And the save and not good enough from Eliza Valdez as the ball hit the tape of the net. Arroza with a big break there and that's what uh, Choco Mucho needed to get this all important set number three, Neil. And she doesn't get so much of the sets, pero pag pinalo niya yun, she makes sure na makakapunto siya. Set number three highlights between Choco Mucho and Creamline. And compared to the first two sets where both teams really put up big leads, the third set was much tighter and very highly contested. Yeah, it was a more competitive set. Uh, good exchanges also from the attacks of both of these teams. Yun nga lang, Choco Mucho played well defensively. They had a steadier service reception tapos nakatulong na rin yung mga unforced errors na binigay ng Creamline Pool Smashers. Where did Creamline fall short? Because again, it was a close third set. I'm sure fans would like to know saan ba nagkulang ang kanilang Creamline? Well, dun talaga yun sa nagsimulang service error as it snowballed to the other departments. And right now, their backs are against the wall against the undefeated Choco Mucho Flying Titans. So again, adjustments will be made kung paano nila madodominate yung blocking department. But if you're Choco Mucho, what did they do coming into the third set that allowed them to get the advantage as we, before you get to that, let's take a look at the statistics of the third set. Look at that, 20 attacks for the cool smashers, but they gave up eight unforced errors. Samantalang isa lang yung binigay ng Choco Mucho. They're just playing clean volleyball at this moment. Then again, doing good defensively with four blocks, tapos two service aces. Is it the defense that uh, just stepped up again after somehow disappearing completely in the second set for Choco Mucho? Yes, it's really the defense na kahit hindi man sila makakuha ng mas maraming attack points against the Cool Smashers as long as they get good touches on the blocks and good touches off the service aces, they will still be in good position. And now that they're up by two sets, you can expect them to be uh, oozing with confidence as they want to finish this in four. But let's not forget what happened when uh, they came off a very good set number one, talking about Choco Mucho, how Dreamline just stepped up and turned the tables around and pulled the rug from under Choco Mucho to steal that win and limit Choco Mucho to single digits. But it's obviously a totally different story, Neil. It's the fourth set. Both teams are totally warmed up. It's uh, anybody's set, but obviously, like what you mentioned, psychological advantage and the confidence on the side of Choco Mucho. But one thing's for sure, the, the volleyball fans want this game to go all the way. Kung six sets, six sets. Siyempre, matagal nila rin tong inintay. But so far, we've been seeing a lot of quality exchanges also, proving that these are, so far, the top two teams yeah. in our competition. They have not disappointed in any way, shape, or form. And truly deserving of the one, two spots in the standings, Choco Mucho and Creamline. What a game they're giving us tonight. One, two play for Morado. Ball is still alive. But wait a minute. Creamline was expecting it was four touches. Lumer Pajarillo says it's only three. It counts. Unfortunately, there is no challenge in the PVL. They can argue, but at the end, uh, it's still the decision of the officials. Yeah, and you know, you can't stop mid-rally, although sometimes you see a violation. And you expect a call. Yeah, and you expect a call. Pero hanggang hindi pumipito yung referee, yeah. you still have to continue to play. That's exactly what Creamline did. They stopped, which gave Chokomucho a point, but 
That time around, Eliza Valdez with that talented cross court. That's her 16th point, talking about Eliza Valdez, followed by Michelle Gumabao with 14. Then you have Tolentino for, Cre for Choco Mucho with 11. Tapos Pantay si Madayag and Gaston with 9 apiece. So two players already in double digits for Cream Line as Morado will commit a service error. But it's only a matter of time. We we're just in the fourth set, early in the fourth set, before Madayag and Gaston hit double digits as well. Won't be surprised if three or four of the Flying Titans score in double digits. Yeah. With the way Dina Wong has been distributing. Gumabao, yes, huge hole right there in the middle of the back row. It has been the one-two punch of Eliza Valdez and yeah. Michelle Gumabao doing the damage for the Cream Line Pool Smasher. Oh, there's been a sprinkling of Panaga and Tots Carlos there, but there should be more from the, the others, the bench players as well of Cream Line. Catolentino, good coverage by De Jesus. Tots Carlos attacks. Block on De Leon. Ball is still alive. Great save from the back row by Arocha. Gumabao. Terrific defense by both teams. That's outside from Catolentino looking for a check ball. Now they're asking for their own version <laughs> of a check ball, but it will not be given. So that will be a point for the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Thirteen attacks plus three aces for Eliza Valdez. The dig by Valdez. Carlos. Revilla with the up. Free ball. Gumabao. Cat Tolentino goes up. And the Jesus was right there. Tried to save that rally, but it was just too low. Same trend, dikit na naman tayo yep. early on in this set. But just like the third set, Choco Mucho holding on to a slim one point advantage. Sato, yes! Probably the, the most power I heard so far. Itong hit ni Risa Sato in this ball game. Sato with seven points in the last game. She needs to step up as well. We haven't, all, we haven't seen Seth Domingo. We haven't seen Pao Soriano as well for a green line. They still have Rose Vargas. Rose and Vargas. the backup setter in Kyle Negrito, but... This time around, <laughs> they have their own version of a double block. That Valentino rejected there. Carlos getting the better of Cat Tolentino. And cream line with a one-point lead here. 5-4. Set number four. Matayag. Better connection from Dina Wong and Nadi Madayag. Of that be quick play. Look at that. The blockers just too late. To even have a touch on that hit. Deadlock at five. Over received. Oh, but Madayag just sends it right back. Dumaba was blocked. Valdez chases after it. Atienza with the up, Tots Carlos winding up and sending it outside. And the lead swings back to Choco Mucho. It we're like a, a seesaw battle right now at the PCV Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. Difficult set for Morado. Panaga was blocked. Carlos is blocked. 
Back row attack, off speed. Eliza Valdez, not a good save, says Lumar Pajarillo. Great adjustment by Valdez from the back row. Now they tie things up at six all. Just, you know, the way these two teams have been trading offenses, different styles, different tactics. It's just a wonder to watch. And if you're a volleyball fan, this, it doesn't get any better than this. Six all, set number four. Matayag, off the arm of Tots Carlos. And as we said, that's her comfort hit. That signature running attack by Nadi Madayag. And the lead right back with Choco Mucho, 7-6. One, two play there, anticipated by Cat Tolentino. Arocha is blocked, it goes outside. The lead is two. For Choco Mucho, 8-6 as we hit our first technical timeout of set number four. We welcome our more than 100,000 viewers online once again to the coverage here. Watching the number one and two ranked teams in the Open Conference, Chocomucho undefeated, Creamline the defending champions, but Chocomucho with a two sets to one advantage against Creamline. There is a rare, is that a setting violation? No, I think the shoulder or oh. elbow of Gio Morado caught the touch net. the net. Okay, there it is. Yes, because double contact will be absolutely rare <laughs> for somebody like Gio Morado. So this is the biggest lead of Choco Mucho now at three points. Nine serving six. Biggest lead in set number four. Panaga with a tip. Over received and Tots Carlos punishing them for that mistake. Carlos capitalizing on another regalo given by Choco Mucho. But if you guys have been watching since the start of the game, this was the trend in the third set, Neil. Creamline trying to catch up, trying to erase a three-point lead. They get as close as one, maybe tie the game. But Choco Mucho always found answers. Yeah, offensively comfortable itong cream line cool smashers. We just need to avoid giving out three points. Papunta sa Choco Mucho. And now, isa na lang ang kalamangan ng Flying Titans. Cream line looking to tie the game. And maybe grab the lead here in set number four. Remember, they are down two sets to one. Very important serve in Tots Carlos. And this is what we've been talking about all game long. They get within striking distance, maybe with an opportunity to tie or take the lead, but they commit the errors. Yeah, they still need to polish their services to make it more consistent. Revilla with 18 excellent digs so far in the game. That will be an overreaching violation called on Dina Wong. First referee saying that the ball was still on the court of cream line. So interference against Choco Mucho. So a tiny break of the game. Take a look here off the arms of Atienza. And yeah, the ball clearly still on the side of cream line. Valentino back row. Yes. 
such a lethal weapon wherever she is on the court. And you know it's going to be problematic for your defense when Kat asks for that ball intentionally. If, if you're cream line, if you're going to make a move, you have to make it now because we all know what happened in set number three. It became too little too late in the end as uh, Morado took matters into her own hands. A very difficult kneeling set. And a timeout here by the Cool Smashers. What is going on with Cream Line right now, Neil, and what adjustment do they need to make? No, in that previous sequence, nahirapan din talaga si Gio Morado to set that one up. They need solid passing, and we know they have good receivers talking about Cream Line. Athena Wong with 27 excellent sets. She's been doing a great job, but it's been easier for her because the reception has been much better in the last two sets. Yeah, headed by Ben Ben Lazaro Revilla. We saw her numbers a while ago in the digging department. Carlos with a passing error. Double contact here. This is the biggest lead so far for Choco Mucho at four. Valdez. Over received and out of bounds. And they're almost tied in the digging department. 66 to 64. Green line looking to get over the hump. Excellent sets. 27 for Gia Morado. Another good receive there by Revilla. Here comes Tolentino. Atienza unable, oh, make that De Jesus unable to keep it alive. Joko Muto starting to solidify their lead. And as you said, Creamline needs to make their move. It's just a four point deficit, but with the way Joko Muto has been protecting this lead, they've probably figured out a way to stave off. Mini runs by Creamline. Eliza Valdez saves at that point. And they will try to get their comeback as she moves to the service line. 11 serving 14. If you're Creamline, it's now or never. Must win set to stay alive in this match. Gaston blocked at the net. Michelle Gumabao, this was what she was known for back when she was still a lady spiker in green. That's for sure, product of La Salle. Getting a single block against Ponga Gaston. You don't know how many ethnians <laughs> she tormented. <laughs> and uh, she was still playing in the UAAP. Over received and Sato back to back points for Green Line. They are roaring back here. But the, the task is not complete yet as you take a look at the over received by Revilla. They, that's been their Waterloo is when they get to one point or they tie the game, they can't seem to overcome the hump. A timeout here by Choco Mucho.
Well, Coach Oliver Almadro, understanding the intensity of the moment, and this run by Creamline calls a timeout just to get Fly Titans their, their heads straight because obviously this is a very important set for them as well. It's going to be a test of character for the ladies in purple to keep that one-point lead, but so far, Eliza Valdez has been <laughs> tormenting the reception of Choco Mucho. Broken play, free ball. Morado, what does she do? Goes to Sato and they tie the game, 14-0. Just like that, the four-point lead is now gone. And then heavy serving proving to be effective for the Cream Line Pool Smashers. Valdez, for sure, after this game, should be better than just third best in <laughs> serving. <laughs> The way she's been scoring from the service area today. Much better received by Arocha that time. De Jesus will set it up. Here comes Gumabao. Revilla with the up. Another easy over. Morado back to Gumabao. Great coverage by the Flying Titans. Morado will set again. Pots Carlos punches through and scores. Green line up by one. What a momentum swing we have right now. Cream line taking over the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They're up 15 to 14. This is basically four unanswered points by Cream line. And Shannon Palek, we see her for the first time in the game. Former Tigress from the University of Santo Tomas. Let's see if Eliza Valdez targets her. She was trying to, but it goes way sideways. So 15 all. And this is, again, we go back to what we've been talking about, Neil. <laughs> I know uh, the viewers must be sick of hearing it, but that's been sort of that cycle. Errors by Creamline, they put them in a hole. Definitely a momentum killer for the Cool Smashers. That was the best possession to add on to that lead when Eliza Valdez was still in that service line. But right now, Bea de Leon will try to score off that service line for Choco Mucho. Chance to regain the lead for the Flying Titans. Carlos. Cap Tolentino. Quick reflexes by Valdez. Carlos once again, yes! Creamline back on top by one. And they take us to our second technical timeout. Creamline 16, Choco Mucho 15, set number four. Dreamline rewriting the script here in set number four as they are steadily holding on despite the unforced errors to this slim one-point advantage. Michelle Gumabal has been a major factor in this run of the Cool Smashers. Valentino gives up a free ball. Morado sets it up. Here comes Gumabao. And right on cue, Michelle Gumabao makes it a two-point lead for Dreamline. You have Tots Carlos, you have Michelle Gumaba, <laughs> you have Eliza Valdez. Risa Sato as well contributing. And I'm sure the viewers are enjoying the volleyball action yep. as Creamline 
gets a three-point lead over the Flying Titans. And take a look at Coach Oliver asking ilan ang timeout score. As Sato changes up her serve, by the way. She, she experimented with a floater earlier. And timeout called right now by Coach Oliver Almadro. tell by the way coach Almagro is burning through his timeouts how important this fourth set is and he does not want this to get away from him you don't want a confident cream line to go up against yeah. you six to two that's seven to two five aces for the cool smashers here and take a look at how Huge the smile is on the faces of those girls. Again, this game will come down to serve, receive. Yep. It's about the team who can be in system most of the time that will chalk up this win. Ball is still alive. It's still good. Carlos. That's good. <laughs> Lead us five for Dreamline as they have totally taken over in the latter part of set number four. Thought Carlos just on fire. She was a substitute, but right now she's playing like a starter for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Off the bench points for Carlos. Huge in this match. Gaston. Carlos again. This time changes it up. Rocha from the back row. Morado, back set. Lumabao. A rare free ball again from Cat Tolentino. And Panaga sends it wide. There's still a chance for Choco Mucho to catch up. But you feel a different intensity here yeah. side of Cool Smashers. We can hear even the bench players cheering on their teammates. Just looking confident in this fourth set. A change defensively for Choco Mucho as Dancel Dusaran, uh, the libero out of UST, is in the game replacing Revilla. Morado. Go to Gumabao. Back row attack, Tolentino. Block at the net. And green line showing Choco Mucho. If you can do it, we can do it as well. Collective effort coming from the Cool Smashers. But again, the double block of Panaga and Carlos proving to be really effective in this fourth frame. Still a five point lead for Cream Line. Two block points for Cream Line in the fourth set. None for Choco Mucho. This is going to be ace number eight for Cream Line. Currently, they're poised to win this one to extend our match to another five-set thriller in the Open Conference of your PBL. Gaston, yes, finally stops the bleeding. It, it's, it's not an insurmountable lead by any measure for Greenline. So they've got to be careful. Choco Mucho has it in them, and they've got the manpower, not just to make stops, but to score as well as Galanza is back in the game. Yeah, they're trying to activate her because you need all of your players to perform at their peak level come the fifth set kung dadating man tayo doon. Panaga, yes! Now I think four players from Green Line chalking up double-digit numbers. And the reception has really gotten better here in the fourth set. That's, and that's been the story. 
but it's just these unforced errors that they still have to keep that number down. It's a good thing they have a five-point caution. Yep. Dahil pag dikita ng laban and you commit those errors, it might be costly for your squad. 25 errors for Creamline in their win versus Signal. And remember, that was just a that was a three-set win, so that's a lot of errors for a three-set game. Block on Arocha. Valdez. Madayag was right there. Tolentino into the net. And Creamline in position to tie the match at two sets all. And another substitution. It will be a double one. Vargas and Negrito will be replacing Panaga and Morado for this rotation as they try to close this one out. Vargas played uh, in two sets in the last game but didn't score for Green Line. Gaston picking it up. There's a net touch on Dina Wong. And Creamline will walk away with a win in set number four, Neil. As advertised, we will be going to a fifth and final set. You asked for it, you got it, ladies and gentlemen. We're tied at two sets all. Choco Mucho, Creamline going to set number five when we come back. Highlights of set number four as both teams were neck and neck right from the beginning. And just when it seemed like it was the same storyline in favor of Chocomucho, Green Line, they turned it around and guess where it started with the serving of Eliza Valdez. Yeah, it was a good four-point lead for the Flying Titans. But when Eliza Valdez moved to that service line, dun na talaga na pressure yung service reception ng Chocomucho. Then Torx, Carlos, and Michelle Gumabao started yeah. to hammer down the defense of the Flying Titans. And just like our storyline, so to speak, at the start of the coverage, when we talked about reception becoming a major factor in this match, when, when reception uh, errors started with Chocomucho, that's when they unraveled and struggled late in the fourth set. Even the steady then, then Lazaro Revilla had a hard time in some of the sequences. But right now, as we go to the fifth set, hanggang 15 lang tayo, nobody can afford to give away free points. As we take a look at the numbers, 14 attacks compared to the nine. That has been the trend for most of the sets, if not all. Lamang talaga ang cream line in their offense as Choco Mocho did not register any block points and service aces. Quite uncharacteristic for a team known for their blocking. Talked about how uh, three of their players are in, you know, in high, highly ranked in terms of defense at the net. In the meantime, these unforced errors for the Cool Smashers, that's been their weakness. That's been their Achilles heel all throughout the game. Despite having plus three unforced errors, they still came out with a win. But like what you mentioned, Neil, uh, that's, th that's not going to fly uh, in the fifth set. Especially till 15 points lang po tayo. Again, uh, Choco Mocho is still undefeated. Um, Cream Line is at 6 and 1. Both of them are in good position to make it to the next round. But again, they're playing for seeding at this point of the competition. And speaking of seeding, we there's it's still up for grabs, really. Um, especially the three and four positions. And there are going to be some crucial games coming up 
especially for Chocomucho, as they still have uh, Petrogas and Cherry Tigo in the next couple of days. It might go either way. It can be a good thing na malalakas yung kalaban coming into the semis. You're prepared sa kahit sino pa man yung kalabanin mo. Or it can work the other way dahil it's a tiring schedule. <laughs> Talking about those ma remaining matches for them. By Freemarine, they only have one more game against the Perla Spikers. So fifth set, just about to get underway at the PCB Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara. Ilocos Norte. The top two teams in the standings are going all the way here. Eliza Valdez down the line, and she puts Streamline on the board first. What a clean hit from Eliza Valdez. Going through the seam or the right hand of Cap Tolentino. And I don't know if it's just me or Eliza Valdez has another gear in her because that <laughs> she, she seemed fresh on that attack. You have to know that they were also former teammates, so they know the tendencies of each other. And she gets right back at her. But just as the best player on the other team attacks, <laughs> quick answer as well by the top player on the other side, Cap Tolentino with a cross court there. And she looks 100% as well here. <laughs> and we've been going on, what is it, two hours? A yeah. little more than two <laughs> hours. And these girls. Looking as fresh as a daisy at the start of set number five. Free ball for Chocomucho. Dina Wong sets it up. Cat Tolentino, single lady block, Eliza Valdez. Eliza Valdez is just on a mission at this point of the game. Two points so far credited to her. One from an attack and another from that block point. Wong sets it up back to Cap Tolentino. She's been going there almost exclusively here in the fifth set. And why not? Yeah, you go to your highest percentage attackers. Kumbaga, there are players that you live and die with. <laughs> At Tolentino and Valdez showdown so far yep. in this fifth set. Fourth best scorer, Cap Tolentino, just right behind Valdez. Tots Carlos. Gumabao. Yes. What an exchange here. Not that long uh, a rally for the points they're getting. Yeah, credit the coverage of Cream Line. They got two blocks, and then suddenly Gia Morado decides to go reverse to Michelle Gumabao. Another seesaw battle. Good serve by Sato. And Gaston will score. No team giving an inch to their opponent. For neck and neck, three all in this all-important fifth set. Both teams are just hammering it. 110% on each and every attack. Morado sets it up, back to Gumabao. Gumabao tries again. Yes! Michelle <laughs> Gumabao. Credit that point. Have a fit to Gia Morado. Madi Madayag thought Gia was going to that reverse set. Then suddenly, Ibabalik came Michelle Gumabao. A point for the Cream Line Cool Smashers. 79 excellent wow. digs. It just shows the caliber of the defense of both of both these. Teams. Madayag. De Jesus was right there. Tots Carlos. Revilla picking it up. That is going to be a net violation on Dina Wong. First taste of a two point lead for the Team Line Pool Smashers. Indeed, a net violation called on Dina Wong. Trap eye by our first referee, Lumar Pajarillo. Receptions 36 all. I mean, <laughs> it, it can't get any tighter with the way these teams are playing. Valentino blocked at the net. 
and cream line showing how good they are defensively as well. That's another um, caveat in their game plan. They try to control the offense of Catolentino with their blocking and floor D. Any time out here? As Chocomucho will talk things over. are so evenly matched. Neil, what's separating Streamline from Choco Mucho here in the fifth, fifth set? Well, not just here in the fifth set, even in the past sets. Nakita naman natin kung gaano kalaki yung disparity between the attack points of Streamline and Choco Mucho. The dig by De Jesus. Carlos blocked, but it goes outside. The run continues for the Cool Smashers. They're up by four. Biggest lead so far for Streamline. And this will hurt, especially after Coach Almadro burned the timeout to talk things over, and yet Tots Carlos scores off the block. Poor first ball. The left hand. Tolentino picks it up. Madayag. Carlos. That hits the back line. Carlos scores again. He has been doing it all in the past few sequences. Thoughts Carlos on fire, giving a five-point lead to the Cream Line Cool Smashers. Again, we don't have any change of courts. So patuloy lang po tayong maglalaro due to health and safety protocols. Five-point lead, the biggest for Cream Line here in the fifth set. Madayag, the drop, yes. And Choco Mucho needed that point. But more importantly, and the point was the stop. They needed to put a halt on the run of cream line. They're still not out of it. But they have to act fast. Over received there. Great timing by Atienza and coverage. Carlos, wow! It's a thought scholar show here in the fifth set. If you've noticed, there were a couple of gifts given to Choco Mucho, but they're not able to convert that to points. And when you give a chance to Creamline to set up that counter attack, yeah. expect a loaded hit from one of the strongest hitters in the conference. Rocha with a push. Carlos picking it up. Valdez now in front. De Jesus was there for coverage, but reflexes not quick enough that time. Great timing on the block for Dina Wong. But they still need to make four points para makahabol dito sa cream line. The service out. Chocomucho find themselves in a five-point hole here. Substitution as Rose Vargas checks in for Panaga. Cream line in a very good position right now. Ten serving five in the fifth set. Valentino is blocked as the offensive-minded Dreamline showing Choco Mucho how they do defense. The cool smashers way. Choco Mucho will be forced to burn another timeout. The lead is six now for Dreamline.
Cool smashers, looking pretty confident at this point, Neil. Uh, attack points, they have the advantage, plus two here, 6-4. They're just four points away from dealing the first loss of the Flying Titans. And right now, Chocomucho breaking down in the most crucial part of the fifth set. Like what I told you, it's going to boil down to service receive. Nina Wong wasn't able to set that up dahil napakalayo na din ang bola na yun. She just tried to save it. Diray out of UST sees action for the first time for Choco Mucho. As Coach Oliver Almagro grasping at straws right now looking for some spark off the bench. Block points in favor of Green Line 3-1. There is some contribution from Caitlin Diray. Maybe that can be the start of the string of points for Choco Mucho. Caitlin Verai off the bench getting an instant point. But they've got their work cut out for them. The Flying Titans do. Six serving 12. Combination, Valdez at the tail end. And she scores! Green line with a dominant fifth set performance. Seven point lead. And this is after Green line just two games ago, losing to Cherry Tigo in straight sets. Choco Mucho looking very dominant. And right now, Green line turning the tables at the number one team in the rankings and showing the entire open conference that we are still the defending champions. We are the team to beat. Gaston, Valdez picking it up. Morado goes to the back row and a push by Tots Carlos. Valentino sends it over. Sato, yes, that is gonna be match point cream line. One more point and the defending champions will continue their mastery against the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. And they let it go. Choco Mucho left the reception all alone. And an easy point to win for Cream Line as they show are more than 110,000 viewers and the rest of the fans watching on One Sports and One Sports Plus and Signal Play that we are the team to beat. And that's why they just took out the undefeated Choco Mucho in five sets. And here is the, the confirmation of the five set win Cream Line over Choco Mucho. Tremendous, hard-fought, five-set win by the defending champions, Creamline Cool Smashers, against the previously undefeated and number one ranked Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They will punch the very first ticket towards our semifinals as they improve their record to 7-1. They will take over the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. 
will go down to the second spot with a 6-1 and one record. Take a look at the attacks there of Eliza Valdez. So many players contributing to the cool smashers cause. Michelle Gumabao, Tots Carlos off the bench. What a contribution for Risa Sato. Rose Vargas got some floaters and some service aces in as well. But it was the hard work of Eliza Valdez you know, that allowed him to get this win come from behind, so to speak. And uh, right now, our Ayi Tinsai is with Eliza Valdez. Congratulations, Eliza Valdez and the Cool Smashers showing everybody that despite that loss against Cherry Tigo, there's still a team to beat in the Open Conference. Uh, games tomorrow starting at 1 p.m. Valley Pure Water Defenders taking on taking on the uh, PLDT Home Fiber Power Hitters. And then at 4 o'clock for Las Spikers versus the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers. And it's a triple header tomorrow. As uh, so we give you at 7 o'clock, Petrogas Angels versus Santa Lucia Lady Realtors. Now, very quickly, Neil, with this win by Creamline, what happens to uh, the standings and then wh what are the implications moving forward? Again, if Santa Lucia wins this match, they would have to wait for the result of Petrogas and Choco Mucho to see if there will be a tie and then dun dun natin i implement yung tiebreaker system natin. Again, if a two-way tie yun nangyari, winner over the other. If a three-way tie, we will be implementing the quotient system. Creamline Cool Smashers take a five-set win versus Choco Mucho. Thanks to everyone who checked this out and uh, watched our coverage of the one and only professional volleyball league in the country, the premier volleyball league for our director, Raul De Ocampo, executive producer, Malu Neri, and uh, my partner, Neil Flores. I'm Eric Tipan. Keep it right here for more volleyball action on One Sports.